Hey, welcome to my channel. My name is Joy and today I'm going to be going over my morning skin routine. So I usually start my skin routine in the shower and I use this Pixie Rose Cream Cleanser and I just wash it off in the shower and we're good to go on the next part of the skin routine. Next, I'll use Quinn's Witch Hazel Rose Water Toner. I really love the Quinn's Witch Hazel brand. It's so good on my skin and I really notice a difference when I use it. When I'm not using this one, I usually switch it out for the Pixie Glow Tonic Toner. Both of them are really good, but the Pixie one I do use a little bit less because it has 5% glycolic acid in it. The Witch Hazel is really good at close up the pores so if you're struggling with current acne it's best to use the witch hazel a little bit more frequently than you would use the glycolic acid so that's why I'm using that one today. I usually let that sit on my face for a couple of minutes. Um, I don't want to rush into the next step too quickly because I don't want the ingredients in them to react so I just give it some time and while I waited for that to sit I went ahead and picked up a glass of water. I mean honestly everybody says it Water does the absolute best for your skin, so stay hydrated as much as you possibly can. And yes, if you were wondering, I do wear sweatpants in nearly all of my videos. Next, I'll use Herbivore's Prism Serum. It has 12% AHA and 3% BHA. Those are supposed to help exfoliate your skin. I usually use this whenever I have acne. When I do have acne, I'll use it three to four times a week. I won't use it every day. On the days I don't use that, I'll use this Lumum Nordic Sea Glow Boost Essence. It's not a full serum, so you don't get like, the full effect. So I mix it with this Nordic Sea Brightening Beauty Lotion. And it's obviously a liquid consistency. It's not like you would think of like a normal lotion. And they just mix really nicely together and don't leave your face feeling greasy or oily. It just feels nice and hydrated. Okay, so back to the Prism Serum. So I take a full dropper of that and just apply it all over my face. As much as I am a sucker for beautiful packaging, this product is probably one of my all-time favorite skincare products that I own. It just does a really good job of clearing acne and as you can tell i always like getting a close-up on my acne just so you guys know that everybody struggles with it and it does a really good job of just lessening the redness and inflammation and actually clearing the acne really quickly Next, I'm going to use my Glow Recipe Banana Souffle Moisturizer. And this is really great at sealing in all of my other skincare products that I put on before it. Glow Recipe is just one of those brands that I absolutely love every single product that they have. I will say though that all of their products are pretty heavily scented. This one smells just like Banana Laffy Taffy, which I personally like, but I know some people won't. So that's something to keep in mind. If you've seen any of my videos, I'm sure you've probably heard of my undying love for this brand. I have pretty sensitive skin and this one actually works really well for me morning or night. Next I'm going to use my Glow Recipe Watermelon Lip Pop Exfoliator and Moisture Balm. So this has tiny little pink exfoliating beads in it. It does a really good job at exfoliating and just alleviating dry chapped lips. I always use this right before all of my makeup videos just to prep my lips. It gives them such a nice healthy glow and it leaves my lips feeling super soft. And that is pretty much it for my morning skincare routine. Next, I'm going to talk about a little bit of light makeup. Most of the makeup that I use are kind of makeup skincare hybrids. So they do have a functional purpose in helping protect your skin. Starting with the first one is my primer combination. So I'll use the Glow Recipe Watermelon Glow Pink Juice Hydrant and the 111 Skin Pollution Defense Booster. So I'll mix about a one-to-one -one ratio of the two and use that as my primer for makeup. This is a really good swap if you're looking for more skincare-based primers. It leaves behind such a nice, soft, velvety base for makeup to adhere to. And most importantly, since these are skincare products, it doesn't leave your pores feeling clogged like a regular primer would. I would highly, highly, highly recommend trying this out, especially if you are interested in treating your skin a little bit more gently. So next, I'm going to talk about the makeup makeup of this morning skin hair routine situation. I really like using the Ilia Super Serum Skin Tint. It has an SPF of 40, which is really nice, and it also has hyaluronic acid in it. So that again is another way to add moisture into your skin. So I just combined that with my iconic London Illuminator. This is in the shade Original. It mixes really nicely with almost all of my foundations. I haven't had a problem with any of them yet, and it adds just a very subtle glow.
Next, I'm going to add just a couple drops of concealer to my under eyes just to slightly brighten them and conceal a little bit of dark circles. The e.l.f. Camo Concealer is by far my favorite concealer just ever. I use the light beige shade and it does a really nice job of just brightening without looking too unnatural. And it blends out super, super nicely, so I'm just going to blend it with this small little concealer brush. Concealer can really be one of the biggest culprits to an unnatural makeup look. Some of the things that you want to look out for are the shade. You want to make sure that the shade is reasonable within your skin tone. You also want to make sure that you're not using too much of it. And lastly, you want to make sure that the formulation of it isn't going to dry you out. Ultimately, concealer can really help you out at having a nice, beautiful, radiant look. It should be noted that I am not sponsored by Big Concealer. Next, we're going to use a little bit of bronzer to bronze up the face. I'm using Ace Beauty's Bronze in Paradise palette. I got this on a BoxyCharm recently and I've absolutely loved it ever since. I usually use the second and the third shade and mix them together. Really, this palette can work for a lot of different skin tones. Mixing the shades allows you to have so much dimension. This really is such a beautiful palette and it just blends in really, really nicely with most foundations that I own at least and it doesn't leave it looking too cakey and it looks as natural as possible. So I just placed the bronzer under my cheekbones as well as to the top of my forehead and to my jawline. The reason I do all three is because I don't want to have just one unnatural color underneath my cheekbones. I want to make it look as if that is just a natural undertone that I do have and it also makes your face look a little bit more suntanned and as if you had a little bit of sun and got just naturally bronzed. And putting it in all three places really just meshes the whole look together to make a nice cohesive look. Honestly, most of makeup is just playing with lights and shadows to try and create this strange illusion that you are more aesthetically pleasing than you actually are. But bronzing is one of those things where it just looks the most natural of all the pieces of makeup that you can put on your face. Next, I'm going to use this cream blush by Fenty. It's in this bright red shade called Daiquiri Dip. This is one of my favorite blushes that I own. Um, the color looks a little startling at first, but it actually blends out super, super sheer. So I usually just need just a little bit of it, and it creates this perfect red flush on the cheeks. It's a really great creamy formula, and yeah, I just absolutely love this blush. So like I said, I stamp it across the cheeks with a nice fluffy blush brush. This one is from e.l.f. and I would dare to argue that this is the absolute perfect match made in heaven for this blush. So I swipe it across my cheeks as well as the top of my nose with whatever product is left and I usually stamp it in the corner of my forehead as well. And here's a rare sighting of Levi actually being funny in the background. Okay, so yeah, I'm absolutely loving how natural this blush is looking. Next, I'm going to use just a little bit of this Becca highlighter. It's in the shade Champagne Pop. I'm not using it as an actual highlighter since I already used an illuminator. Instead, I'm just going to use this as a nice little inner corner highlight on my eyelid. So I'm using a teeny tiny eyeshadow brush for the inner corner highlight. And I just barely sweep it on the inner corner on the top. And then mostly extend it on the bottom. This really makes the appearance that your eyes are a little bit bigger and it just really brightens up your eyes and I feel like makes me look like a more pleasant person, honestly. So let me just go ahead and zoom you guys out so you can get the full picture. Next, I'm going to use this Lila B A Glow Face Mist as my setting spray. It's pretty decent. It's still pretty new-ish to me. I got it sometime during the pandemic. So I really haven't been able to actually attest to how well it holds my makeup for a long time. Generally don't do my makeup until about 12 in the afternoon and then I take it off around 8 p.m. I will say I probably won't end up buying it again. The spritzer is just a little too harsh for what I normally like. So it's a nice clean beauty brand, but the spritzer kind of sucks on this one. So I may not buy it again. Next, I'm going to use the Anastasia Dip Brow Gel in the shade Dark Brown. I really, really love this brow gel. I, I said it before, but this was my first brow gel that I've ever tried and I've been hooked ever since. So this really holds your brows in place and it's not a lot of work. You don't have to worry about filling it in and you really don't have to think about it too much.
Next, I'm going to use this Honest Beauty Lash Primer and Mascara Duo. This is one of my all-time favorites. It gives so much length with the primer, and it also gives a lot of volume with the mascara end. Um, this is what really got me into lash primers. I never really looked into them before this product, but I absolutely love that it is a two-in-one and they're kind of just made for each other. So it leaves your lashes really nice and defined, and it gives you a lot of extra length if you're someone like me that barely has eyelashes to begin with. So it's a good one. I definitely, definitely recommend trying this one out. The one thing that I will say about this primer and mascara duo is that it does take a lot of extra time whenever you are applying mascara. So for me, it takes multiple coats as you can see. I sped it up just so we could get through it pretty quickly, but it is worth it in the end. I love the way it looks afterwards. It's, it's definitely some of the most defined lashes I've ever had with mascara. And again, this is just one of those brands that's really similar to Glow Recipe where it's just like I absolutely love everything that Honest Beauty makes. They have a really great mascara, they have a really great blush. A lot of their makeup products are just really high quality. Also something else that I really like about the brand itself is they are really generous when it comes to sharing smaller creators. They've been really nice with all of my content on Instagram in particular. They have great products and great customer relations in my opinion. So this is a really big deal for me as well, being able to use the same mascara on the top and on the bottom. Because of the shape of this wand, it gets it's really nice at getting up close to your, the root of your lashes and extending them. So it looks fantastic on the top and on the bottom. And sorry about the angle, I really have not mastered where my face is in the camera lens. But yeah, here's the final product. I really like how it turned out. It's just nice and natural, and it's just a dramatic improvement from the way my eyelashes look by themselves. Next, I'm just going to quickly do my lipstick. I'm using the Maybelline Superstay Lip Crown in the shade Lead the Way. It's this perfect effortless pop of color. It looks very similar to my own lips, and today in particular, it really matches my shirt, so that's why I picked it out. It has this really nice creamy formula. I have like four or five of these lip crowns, and I absolutely love them. All right, so that is my morning skin routine. I don't even want to know the amount of times I said natural, radiant, and healthy, but this is what I do mostly on an everyday basis with how to treat acne and how to get a quick, easy look. So as always, if you felt inspired to recreate this look, please add me on any of my socials and I would love to share it. Please like and subscribe and I'll see you at the same time, same place next week. Love you. Bye.